Hi everyone, this is a uh, fan of right here. I apologize for looking so awful in this video. I uh, just have not been feeling my greatest this morning and I really need to talk. So I'm sure that many of you know I broke up with my that my boyfriend had dumped me. I'm sure that's not that's not exactly news unless you saw the video. If you have not seen the video, don't bother watching it. I I'm embarrassed I made that video because I was just a bawling mess and I feel bad about it. But I just wanted to address something very important. Um, one of the comments on that video that I posted said that they were going through the exact same thing and how they were frustrated with their ex because their ex was like their first kiss, their first everything. And I'm like, I know that feeling so well because this guy... He was my first everything, my first real boyfriend, because I did have a boyfriend prior to him, my abusive online ex, as I'm sure you guys know of, but he just literally wanted nothing more from me than my body, and it didn't help that he lived all the way across the country, so I couldn't exactly, I couldn't exactly, like, I don't know, and that boy pre-pressured me into sending photos to him, and I just hate that memory. I'm sure that I've told you guys about that story, and I told that story because I wanted to be careful that my viewers do not make to make the same mistakes I made. But I just want to say this much. I have been feeling so awful lately. Like, I don't know what's going on. I know it may not sound bad in my videos, but that's because the only real time I feel as though I'm happy is when I'm either doing several things. Binge-watching YouTube, uh, dancing or singing, and writing. And it appears that when I'm not doing those things, and when I'm left to my thoughts, I go down this rabbit hole. When I'm just left with nothing but my own thoughts, I feel as though I'm the lowest of the low. Seriously, because like... Guys, I'm sure men, I love spacing out. Spacing out is what I always do. I space out on everything, like in class and places that I probably shouldn't be spacing out. I'm always not the most aware of my surroundings. Um, but, however, I just have to say that, um, I don't know. I, I had a train of thought. I'm losing it. I'm that tired. Because I took two sleep medicine last night to help myself fall asleep because i swear last night was strange with the way i was sleeping i'm not gonna tell you what happened but it was terrifying i almost thought i was getting sleep paralysis for a second i don't think that was the case but it was terrifying anyway um however i should say that this guy he was mature in a lot of ways he was one of the most mature people i had ever met for someone who was 17 however he is the equivalent of a five-year-old whenever it comes to a relationship. He does not know what to do. He does not understand what to do and what not to do. He put his job and his family before me. And I understand why he put his job before me. Because the fact that he had a roof over his head was dependent on his job. If he quit that job, he'd be kicked out of the house. So, I understand why he chose work, chose work over me, but, guys, come on, level with me here. Can you imagine that a job would take your place as, someone, as something that they spend their time with? They would rather, they choose to spend their time with a job rather than with you, and they don't even bother to text you saying, hey, I'm alive, and... After the breakup, I remember seeking closure from him, saying, like, look, I really need to say what I need to say, and it ended badly. Because we agreed to be friends again, but I know, but eventually I found out that he just said that to prevent me from doing something, quote, and I quote, doing something stupid. First of all, any of you who are watching out there, you do not call that, I mean, call suicide or cutting something stupid. That is a massive insult to people with depression and who do those things. You never say that to someone who is either self-harmed in the past or whatever. And don't get me wrong, I am never self-harmed. Hang on. See? I have never in my life self-harmed. And I know there are a lot of people out there who do. So don't tell me... And I know that I see cutting and suicide as a really bad escape from your problems. 
that doesn't mean I don't think about doing it. I've thought about killing myself on more times than I could ever count, especially in this period. So, guys, I just need you to understand that the reason I'm making this video is not to sulk, not to ask for pity. I'm doing it as an update and also as a warning. Because this guy literally told me, like, a week or two into the relationship that he loved me. And looking back on that, I was an idiot to say I love you back. But in real honesty, I fell for him hard. Really hard. And I know the relationship on the last of, like, three or four weeks, maybe a month. And it, it crushed me. And that's because I felt that strongly for him. And... It was very pathetic looking back, but keep that as a warning sign. If a guy ever tells you, or if somebody ever tells you, I love you, without them barely knowing you, don't just cut it off. Or just slow it down. And do not start a relationship before you have a friendship. That's all I say. Because I learned that mistake the hard way. And that's probably why this relationship did not go well. Because we, and he was in this relationship with me for the better, not for the worse. You guys need to understand that. That no matter what happens when you get into a relationship, you're always going to have those arguments. You're always going to have those disagreements. You're always going to have those problems. That's normal. But most people, when they enter a relationship, especially at this age, they are in it for the better and not for the worst. You need to be in it for both. Because that, my friend, is true love. You don't kick someone to the curb the second that you're bored of them or because their jo your job is more important to you. You don't do that. I feel that it's very important to me, guys, that you guys are careful out there. And trust me, the person... I don't remember who sent that comment to me saying that this person was their first kiss. And that, oh, I'm just, I know exactly what you're going through. Whoever you are out there, I know you know who I'm talking to you. That boy who kissed you, that boy... I know it hurts. The first love is the most painful out of all of them. And all breakups are painful, but the first love is the most painful. I have a ceiling fan going on right now. And if I had a dollar for every time I thought of myself grabbing a rope and hanging myself, I'd be rich. And I don't need you guys worrying about me. I am not going to kill myself. I am not going to harm myself in any way, shape, or form because I know of the consequences that would happen. I would no longer be able to post content for you guys. You guys would be crushed. And not to mention my family especially would be destroyed by it. I can't do that. And I don't do it because I have so many responsibilities and everything. I have so many things to live up to with you guys and with my family and my friends. So it's very important to me that I do what I can to get through the tri the problems and triumph from it. I just like to see this whole relationship as an obstacle course. And I somehow am getting through it. I'm not fully out of the woods with this whole f breakup thing yet, but I'm getting there. I'm getting past it slowly but very shortly so just trust me guys i know what breakups are like i may i've dumped a guy before i have friends owned many people but this hurt and everything i know i understand what it's like to be friends owned. i've been there before i know what it's like to be dumped i've also been there it's never fun and when you cause the breakup that's also just as painful but he got over it in like days I wouldn't be surprised if he's out with another girl right now. So just know, guys, that no matter how much you love somebody, they do not define you. When two people set, when two people get together, they do not, they do not stop being individuals. Just because you have a family or you have a lover, does not mean you're stop being an individual. You need to learn to rely on yourself and not on the other people. That is what's important. <sighs> I think I blabbered on enough for one day. I plan on finishing up a story later on. I'm not sure if I'll be able to because I'm exhausted and my head right here is pounding. It's gone down for sure, but I just want you guys to know that I'm here for y'all. If you guys ever need a chat, if you guys ever need something from me, let me know. And I plan on starting up rewards for a Patreon page very soon. Give me some ideas on some rewards for Patreon down in the comments below. Like maybe a shout out or maybe... 
your story being read. Those are the only little two ideas I got so far. And I can maybe also link up with my fan artists and see that if someone donates enough money that they can get a fan art with me and everything. Or if you want, I could... I don't know if I'll open up a P.O. box. I'm not sure. I've been thinking about it because I think that that'd be cute and everything. But I'm not, I don't have any decisions yet. But regardless, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, this is Phantom Murder, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.